Hello friends. So we'll continue our discussion with uh, the Boolean output of logic circuits, determination of that. So this is the tenth question that uh, we're going to discuss. And uh, the special thing about this circuit is that all the gates that we have used that are involved here are NAND gates. All of them are NAND universal gates. So again, in order to solve the circuit, we'll use the same approach. We'll segment it, the, this logic circuit into layers, into levels. Then we'll solve one layer, one level, and then go on to the next level. And doing that, we'll reach the final level. So if we segment it, we'll segment it in the first layer, which will consist of this NAND gate. The second layer which will consist of these three NAND gates, and then this three input NAND gate at last. So the first layer, this NAND gate, the input signal is B, shorted. The two inputs are B. So it will behave as a NOT gate or inverter and the output will be B complement. This NAND gate, the inputs are A and B complement. So the output would be A and B complement, whole complement. The second NAND gate of the second layer, the second level, the two inputs are A and C, C and A. The output would be A and C whole count. The third NAND gate of the second layer, the inputs are B and D. So the output would be B, D, whole complement. B and D, whole complement. Now, the three inputs to this final three input NAND gate is A and B complement, whole complement, A and C, whole complement, B and D, whole complement. So the output would be A, B, whole complement, complement, and A, and C whole complement B and D whole complement and then the whole complement. So if we apply De Morgan's theorem here, it will become A and B whole complement. A and C double complement or B D double complement. We applied De Morgan's theorem. The De Morgan's theorem here is like this X, Y, Z whole complement will be X complement or Y complement, Z complement. Okay, the whole complement of an expression consisting of only and results in the individual complements odd together. So it will be double complement of something results in the same A and B complement is C plus or or B D. Okay? So this is the final simplified so it uh, is a different type of question which consisted of only NAND gates and we got this output. So this is the 11th question that we are going to discuss. The previous question it involved only NAND gates, NAND universal gates. This question it involves only NOR gates. So let us solve it. So again we will divide it into layers. First layer consisting of this four NOR gates, second layer consisting of this two NOR gates, third layer consisting of the single NOR gate and then the fourth layer, the final layer, this NOR gate. So here in this NOR gate, the signal which is applied at the two inputs is A. So it will behave as a NOT gate or inverter, the output would be A complement. Same here, both the inputs B is applied. So it will behave again as a NOT gate or inverter, B complement. Here also same case, it will become C complement. This will become D complement. All are of the same nature. Now, here 
the two inputs to this NOR gate are A complement and B complement. So it will be A complement or B complement whole complement. Now if we apply De Morgan's theorem here, it will become A complement complement B complement complement which will simply be AB. De Morgan's theorem applied. Here it is C complement or D complement whole complement same way it will become C D. Now the two inputs to this NOR gate are A B and C D. So it will become A B plus C D whole complement and again when it is again pass through this NOR gate with the same input will behave as a NOR gate or inverter as in this case it will become AB CD double complement which is equal to AB or CD ok so this is the final output of this logic circuit consisting of only NOR universal gates ok So this is the twelfth question uh, that we are going to discuss. Again, this logic circuit it consists of only NAND universal gates. Again, in order to solve it, we will divide it into three layers. The first layer consisting of these two NAND gates, the second layer consisting of these two NAND gates, and then a final NAND gate at the output. So here, the input to this NAND gate is both the inputs are shorted so it will be x so it will behave as a NOT gate or inverter output is x complement here the same case both the inputs are y it is shorted so both the inputs are y it will behave as a NOT gate or inverter become y complement now this NAND gate one of the inputs is y the other input is x complement so it will be x complement and y whole complement here one of the inputs is y complement the other input is x so the output will be x and y complement whole complement then here finally the both the inputs are x complement and y whole complement and it is x and y complement whole complement so it will become x complement and y whole complement ok let us do it require more space here x complement and y whole complement and x and y complement whole complement whole complement because it is a NAND gate so if we apply De Morgan's theorem here it would be x complement y whole complement x complement sorry x y complement complement so it will become x complement y or x y complement because the double complement of a particular expression or variable it results in the same and this de morgan's theorem which we used here is this a and B whole complement is A complement or B complement. This is the De Morgan's theorem we used here and converted into or individual complements resulted in double complements. The double complement of a variable or expression results in the same. So this is the final output and this is nothing but XOR gate output. So this circuit it behaved as an XOR gate. So here we have discussed around 12 questions related to the output of uh, logic circuits. We determine the Boolean output. So always remember this approach, segment, divide the logic circuit into layers, into levels, solve one level, go to the next, solve that and then finally reach the output level. So I hope you like this videos and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great great day thank you very much